Hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to lay eyes on you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And this morning, I am going to share with you five powerful practices that will change your physiology, augment the power of your neurochemistry, the power of your neurochemistry, and your ability to be emotionally and spiritually awake. And this is all about something I've been really geeking out on over the last few months as I've been looking at how it is that in life more and more, we're too tired to keep running, but we're too scared to stop. Just let that settle inside of you for just a moment. Too tired to keep running, but you're too scared to stop. And I'm gonna share with you five practices that I have been working on in my life over the last number of years based on some tremendous science about how it is that we can intervene with this stress cascade that is becoming more and more hardwired into our system. It's called sympathetic dominance, the sympathetic nervous system, which is all about stress. And what we're finding more and more in our society is that this level of hypervigilance, this level of having our guard up is literally destroying our lives. It's creating inflammation. It's creating cellular death. I know, right? It's like, oh my gosh, really? Yes. But probably more than anything else, you know when you're feeling that sense of defensiveness, you're feeling that sense of dread and fear. So I'm going to share with you five practices that are super simple. They're scientifically based and they are liberating. They'll help you create freedom. Number one, this is amazing. Studies show that two seven second hugs a day will literally increase oxytocin, which is your love hormone, but at the same time, lower the energy or the circulatory benefits that are heading towards the amygdala. When I say circulatory benefits, I simply mean that the amygdala is using a lot of energy and the amygdala is your place of fear. So it benefits more and more the energy is pouring into it so the more that we are seriously, that sense of fear, that sense of defensiveness, that sense of dread, anxiety, that sympathetic dominance, we actually grow in fear. But hugging twice a day, seven seconds each time. I know it's a little, it's a little uncomfortable for some of us. You go in there and you're not, you're not releasing too fast. You're in there and you're hanging in there just long enough for seven seconds and that actually lowers the amygdala's information and stimulation and at the same time raises oxytocin. Number two, you stimulate the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve, she is in control. She's like, she's like daily yoga 24 hours a day. She helps to release stress. She helps to help us to be more at ease, more compassionate, more a sense of awareness and self, self-love. When she's stimulated, you have more self-love. A cold shower, 20 seconds ideally. Finishing your shower with just 20 seconds of cold water stimulates the vagus nerve. Don't be afraid to sing or scream while you're doing it. It totally stimulates that activity. Number three, I love this. Simply petting a pet for a couple minutes a day. Like let your, let your dog, your cat crawl into your lap or go to the park and find one. Pet it for a few minutes and you're gonna increase dopamine, which is your source of motivation and confidence and creativity and resiliency. Dopamine gives you an advantage to go out in the world and not forget who you are and not allow yourself to let go of your dreams with tenacity. Number four, this is amazing. The, 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 pr the profound research is coming more and more about probiotics. Whether you're getting them through yogurt, whether you're getting them through kimchi and uh, fermented foods, whether you're getting them by just getting your microbiome stimulated, by getting your hands in the dirt, find a good source of probiotics and stimulate them every single day because it's one of the number one drivers for lifting serotonin, which is your lifter of happiness and resilience. Number five, simply sweat your prayers. Dedicate yourself. All motion creates positive emotion. Every motion you take with an intention to move gives your body the ability to actually create serotonin and dopamine. This dynamic duo, happiness, motivation, confidence, creativity, all happening by you sweating your prayers every single day. Don't be afraid to move your body and then move right into meditation to really cement in that neurochemistry. This is an interesting time and many of us are feeling this sense of being too tired to keep running, being too scared to stop, and looking for an intervention strategy. Let these five practices be an intervention strategy that changes your life. I love you. I believe in you. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.